Hello beautiful people and welcome to your June 2021 tarot reading with me Julie Poole. If you're new here welcome thank you so much for joining me. I am in my new setup here in my new home and I hope that you enjoy this video. Everything you need to know is in the description box below including how to book in with me and uh, the cards that I use everything's there have a little look. All right this is good for your sun, your moon, your rising, your venus and for cross watching if you'd like to do that all right anything else i need to tell you oh a quick thank you to all of you who sent me healing and love and well wishes for my new home and the healing on my nose as you can see it's almost healed now i'm two months post um a little minor surgery for some skin cancer not the nasty stuff the the safe stuff but I had to have a skin graft so yeah still there a little bit but I feel absolutely fine and I'm loving being in my new home. So without further ado let's get on to see what's going on for each of the 12 signs for June 2021. Hello Aquarius, how are you my lovely people? Are you well? I hope so. All right my loves, oh we've got first card out, second card out. What else do we have for Aquarius? Very lively energy for you Aquarius. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, we've got the Five of Coins, the Page of Cups, Page of Swords, the Star card. Good, I like to see that, especially with the Five of Coins. Let's see what else. Nine of Cups, <laughs> good, good. And the Four of Wands. All right, let's pause there for a moment. Okay, where do we wanna go? We're gonna talk about this card first of all. Five of Cups, not a pleasant card. We know this, all right? It's a card of financial struggle, worries about money. It's also a card about feeling left out, pushed out, rejected in a not very good place. It's a victim card. It's life is really hard right now and I'm struggling. Okay, so it's coming out with the star card, which is a healing energy, which is a let's let that go and turn it around energy. And that's beautiful, which allows you to lift up from that place of, oh my God, it's hard right now. And it's okay, you know, Life is never always on the up. It goes through ups and downs. But those of you that have really been going through it, this month in June for you Aquarius, this is healing and restoring and rebalancing, okay? If you're on the cusp with Capricorn, have a little look at that as well because their reading is all about restoration and bringing balance back after the challenges. So, you are in a similar energy here of healing from the struggle of feeling isolated, lonely, alone, um, struggling if you've lost your job, struggling with money. Um, for those of you who are retired, worrying about your investments, your pensions, that can start to ease off now because the other cards around it are so positive, so positive, all right? We've got two pages. Pages are the opportunities that are coming in, doors opening, um, allowing you to be able to move in a different direction, to be able to open up to what it is that you need. We've got the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords. So the Page of Cups is an offer, an opportunity that's going to uplift you, make you happy, um, get you in a really good place. And the Page of Swords is news. All right, communication, emails, um, just things opening up. This can be letters, this can be a phone call, this can be somebody just letting you know um, of some news that is gonna help you to open up those doors and get out of that struggle and into something better. So for those of you who are uh, have been out of work, um, this is a very good month of doors opening to get you back into work, all right? So that we can restore and rebalance the, the coffers of the money, all right? Getting the money back in because this is a really good time now to be able to move things forward towards stability because we've got the four of wands, which is the 1111 card is mastery. It's the card of new homes, um, engagements, marriage, stability. Um, it is a wish, a dream fulfilled for many of you because we've got the Nine of Cups. This is the month where you can absolutely be 
getting that proposal or meeting the love of your life or um, having somebody move in with you which is going to really help restore um, financial difficulties but all of these other cards are so so positive and let's not forget this is one of the best cards in the deck that the nine of cups this is a dream a wish fulfilled and with the star card being here as well which is wishes hopes dreams as well as being healing and balancing and restoring we are moving into your dreams coming true i want to find out some more tell me more please let's talk about that five of coins a little bit more please tell me more about that one and then we'll look at that nine of cups okay the tower all right good all right. so when we've got a negative card like this we want to see the tower which is fast sweeping change change you didn't necessarily see coming it just comes out of the blue and that ties in with the page of swords which is you know quick news that you maybe weren't expecting so the tower is wonderful in coming in with this because this is moving out very quickly very suddenly so those of you out of work or been struggling financially you're just going to find a door opening very quickly and easily to restore that balance which is fabulous we like that tell me more about this nine of cups please two of coins yeah bringing back the balance i keep saying this you're coming back into balance i want that one as well and the nine of coins we've got the nine of cups and the nine of coins the nine of coins is a card of i am financially free i can provide for myself i'm not in any struggle i am in harmony i am in flow so aquarius this is wonderful for those of you who have been in that space of financial struggle but the five of coins is also a card of emotional struggle feeling very isolated and lonely now the nine of coins is a card of somebody who is single but very content uh, fulfilling all their own needs being able to look after themselves completely don't need anybody else don't need to be dependent on anybody else very strongly independent i am powerful they're just giving me those words for you comment that below that's for you not for me i am powerful all right aquarius you're in that power energy to restore that balance anything else yes they want one more then we'll go to the other decks okay tell me what else you want to let's clarify that four of wands let's clarify the four of wands that's the one is it yeah okay ace of wands new beginning so there is a new beginning with home and stability many of you this is talking about a new home um, or a relationship going to the next level a newness okay going from dating to being engaged going from engaged to being married moving in together this is a brand new beginning this is also for those of you who've been struggling with home feeling perhaps lonely and isolated in home this is um, an upliftment of energy where you are loving just being in your home and it feels new vibrancy um they just show me some of you painting um decorating your home um bringing a new life to it okay just even if you're painting it the same color as it already is it's giving it a new vitality a new vibrancy um i'm seeing doors being painted i'm seeing walls being painted i'm seeing new drapes and curtains coming in so uplifting your home will uplift you as well and when we decorate we always clean as well you've got to clean everything before you can paint it and that clean energy is what it is it's a clean fresh energy and that brings in that new beginning it feels really good let's find out some more from the answer is simple okay <laughs> you can't make this up <laughs> you can't make this up guys i'm telling you i love it when they work with me like this your first card out decorate <laughs> see you know okay so most of the information i give you in a reading is channeled i just use the cards to clarify so you've got something visual and there you go all right so decorate decorate yourself decorate your home all right for some of you decorating yourself is an important um part of june hold on a minute 
we just have a slurp of coffee when we've been um a little bit complacent you know we all do it we go through that energy if i can't be bothered and you just put on slouchy sloppy relaxing clothes and you don't bother with anything else it's 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 a lovely easy gentle energy but this is the time in june where you're putting on your nice stuff and your jewelry and your makeup for you ladies and um you know for you gents your smart shirt your nice shoes you know you're looking after yourself and you are saying do you know, i feel a million dollars in this outfit it's uplifted me and that upliftment is a higher vibration and that higher vibration draws to it other uh, high vibrational things so we start to lift you know the difference when you put on a really nice outfit you stand taller you stand straighter you feel brighter and more powerful and more attractive and this is an energy that draws then really good things to you so a strong energy of decorate okay and it's coming out with dare to be happy this is your time to be happy. We've got the Nine of Cups here, the happy card. So happiness is a powerful energy for you, Aquarius, in June. Be happy, all right? Be happy. I am happy. Get Make that your mantra. And what's the other card? Okay. Spread the light as you get into a place of being in that light. And we've got the star card here, haven't we? Yes. Um, and the star is all about you being the star, shining brightly, being the light. Then you spread that light to others and that in turn brings more to you. They're just showing me the, the beautiful book and film, Pay It Forward. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's beautiful. Um, I've read the book and seen the film. Paying it forward. As we are in the light, we spread the light to others. And it's just a lovely, lovely energy of vibrancy and vitality. I love this for you. This is very exciting. Okay, let's see what the animal oracle want to share with you. We want that one, do we? Okay, rhino spirit. Overcome any obstacle. I want three from here, please. There's the second one. And there's the third one. Okay, okay. All right. We've got, oh, we've got two here. Okay. We've got ant spirit time to collaborate we've got sandpiper spirit be playful so there's a lot of energy of happy and play here isn't there okay and snake spirit time to heal so they're just repeating themselves now aren't they okay because we have that five of pentacles which is a heavy energy now we are healing we are shedding that skin we are letting it go we're allowing our light to come back we're daring to be happy and we're spreading that light we're being playful we are overcoming any obstacle because we're in that mindset of being able to charge forward that's the rhino isn't it get out of my way you know he can knock anything over so any obstacle is gone all right, if we believe it is. So you're moving forward. I love this for you. This is a great reading, Aquarius. Let's find out what the wisdom of the Oracle want to tell you. What else do you have for my Aquarius, please? What else do you have for Aquarius? Here and now, and bottom of the deck, loyal heart. Okay. Now, the loyal heart starts with you, my darlings, not with others. Be loyal to you. Take care of you. As you give yourself that loyalty, then you are spreading that out to others as well. And others will be loyal with you. But it starts with yourself. Everything always does. And they're asking you to be present in the here and now. So bringing that loyalty into you, not just when I get X, Y, Z, then I'll look after myself better. Uh, 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 it doesn't work like that. We have to say, I'm looking after myself right now. And that's actually going to draw that beautiful energy in the future towards me. Rather than putting my happiness in the future, I'm bringing it into the here and now. Good. All right. Now, let's finish off with the angel cards. These are the angel oracles. Now, what do we have for my Aquarius to finish off, please? What's the final messages for my Aquarius, please? For June, the final message. When you're ready. <laughs> when you're ready. 
one more okay that's that's the one okay harmony harmony that's what you're striving for look at this card i'm just going to hold it there for a moment that person there is in a state of harmony and balance and tranquility and that's the place we create from that's the place where our heart can direct what it is that we want i want one more one more please for my aquarius <laughs> Okay, what did I say about decorate yourself and feel good about yourself? I am beautiful. I am beautiful. Comment that below, please. It brings the energy and aligns it with you. When you know your beauty, others see it in you as well. So get into that I am beautiful energy because from that place you can create, you can manifest, you can draw to you all of those wishes and dreams you are in a beautiful energy this month Aquarius so enjoy it I hope this reading has helped you might want to watch this again towards the end of June to just see if you have been able to harness those energies and bring them towards you um, and see what's resonated and what's not it is a general read so it won't all resonate with all of you so take the bits that that do and leave the rest so I hope that helps thank you so much for your time on my channel i truly appreciate you being here thank you so much and i will see you next time and if you haven't already do subscribe so that you don't miss a thing okay take care lots of love bye bye